Hello my lovely people, I'm Zoha and welcome to Zoha Insight. I hope you all are perfectly fine. Today, not only I'll be sharing my review on newly launched Sugar Rage for Coverage Foundation, but also I'll be showing you how to achieve that long lasting, beautiful, flawless base makeup. And for that, I'll be using other two products from Sugar. And they are this, uh, the most eligible primer and this magic wand concealer. I bought all these products to try and test that how sugar based product works and the claims, the features of the products are really nice. They are really promising and I got more attracted towards the newly launched foundation. So now let's get started. Starting off with Sugar, the most eligible primer. This is how the outer packaging looks like, having necessary details and ingredients mentioned on it. And this is how the primer tube looks like, having product features and necessary details mentioned on the backside of the tube. And the feel of the product, the packaging is really nice. It's lightweight and the matte black looks stunning. Now talking about the features, so it's a lightweight matte primer with shine free formula. This soft and air light formulation instantly minimizes the appearance of pores, fine lines and creates a smooth canvas. This also diffuses the look of imperfections and provides multi benefits like correcting dullness, obscuring redness and evens out skin tone. So now let's get the application done. I did my skincare already and my skin is well prepped and moisturized. And now I'm gonna use Sugar, the most eligible smoothing primer. I'm taking a little amount and the texture is soft, bit silicone, but it's lightweight. Here is how the primer looks like. Having a sheer peachy tint to it. I'm applying a little amount on my nose, on cheeks, a little bit on forehead and on my chin wherever I have open pores, visible open pores as I have combination skin type. Spreading it nicely and pressing it into the skin, especially wherever I have visible open pore areas and whatever is left blending on the rest of the area of my face. Allowing it to settle for three to four minutes and till then let me share that how I feel about this primer. So I personally feel that this is one of those really good quality primers out there in the market which doesn't feel heavy on skin and make it feel very smooth and soft. It gives a beautiful blurred out effect and is not highly mattifying. It gives a soft matte look to the skin which I love. I prefer wearing natural looking soft matte base more uh, as compared to the uh, cakey heavy flat matte base. Also, it has a very sheer peach tint, which is a big plus for me and for many other beauties out there because it helps to do a bit of color correction, which automatically gives an even toned base. And this primer is priced at 799 rupees for 25 ml of quantity. And I got a free lipstick with my purchase and that I have shared with you all lovelies in my recent huge haul video. So if you haven't watched that video, the link is in i button do give it a watch for all the details and this is really great for all skin type beauties and i love it now moving on to the newly launched sugar rage for coverage 24 hour foundation and i'm super excited to share my review with you all lovelies as you will get to know some really good things about this and this is how the outer carton packaging looks like with all the necessary details and ingredients list mentioned on the back side. And this is the foundation tube. It's uh, very much similar to the primer one, but it's a bit more sleek, which I really like as this is a travel friendly packaging. And of course, it's a black, so it looks stunning. Also, it has all the details at the back, like features and necessary details about the foundation. Talking about the features of this foundation, so it is designed to camouflage the skin imperfection and it is enriched with purslane, which uh, contains powerful antioxidants, 
and it basically helps to uh, stimulate the collagen production and helps in cell repair. The sebum absorbing long lasting foundation and the soft focus effect gives perfectly blurred and unified appearance. Its creamy texture has cover and conceal properties to hide skin imperfections for flawless, non cakey and smooth looking skin. To apply this foundation, I'll be using a beauty sponge on the right side of my face and the foundation buffing brush on the left side of my face so that you can have a better judgment about the application of this foundation with two different tools and you will be able to select the tool as per your preferred finish. My shade in this foundation is 10 Latte and I have light skin tone with neutral undertone but I can wear a foundation having slight bit of warm undertone as well as it is for light skin tone with warm undertone and it matches me perfectly and this foundation comes in 15 beautiful shades and I hope they include more shades in near future. Let me squeeze out little amount on the back of my hand and this comes really nicely sealed so no need to worry as well. So here I'm taking a little bit of amount on the back of my hand. The texture of this foundation is like a thick fresh cream, the eatable cream when you take it out from the Tetra Pak and the initial texture of that cream is very much similar to the creamy texture of this foundation. Such a precise explanation about the texture. Great. So I'll be applying with a beauty sponge first on the right side of my face. The technique that I'm using right now is slight bit different like uh, we apply this with the help of fingertip and then blend it out with the help of beauty sponge but lately from past few days when I tried this particular technique I am so much impressed because the foundation applies beautifully and it looks very natural looking and lightweight. So that's the technique that I'm going to follow right now and you will be able to see that it looks really nice. So I am dipping my beauty sponge in the foundation like so, like, like that. You can see and now I'm applying it onto my face. Ever since I tried this particular technique of applying the foundation from Beauty Blender, I didn't went back to take the foundation with the help of fingertip, dot it on and then blend it. Like this works beautifully and perfectly. You can see the effortless application, right? This does oxidize a little bit, so this will adapt into my skin tone in just a few minutes. When I'll do rest of my face, this will easily and beautifully adapt into my skin tone, so don't worry for that. Here I have a bit of acne scar, so as it covers and conceals the skin imperfection, so I'll be applying there as well. I'm building up the product. So the sponge application is done. Now moving on to the foundation buffing brush for the left side of my face. I'll be using same quantity that is left. Yeah, it's exactly the same quantity that I've applied on the right side and rest of I'll be using on the left side of my face. And this much coverage is something that I like to wear. So yeah. Coating it really nicely. From inner part of the face and blending it towards the outer part.
here also I have few acne scars so I'm gonna build up the product on that particular area only and let's see how much it covers you can definitely build up the coverage by applying more product but this much product is actually enough for me because I don't mind my skin imperfections peeking through my makeup now I think brush really helped more in covering the uh, acne scars those imperfections that I have right here as compared to the beauty blender so yeah in that way brush is also very useful but still I like to use it with oh sorry <laughs> but still I like to use it with the beauty blender beauty sponge so I'm done with the foundation application I'm allowing it to sit for a few minutes allowing it to oxidize a little bit so that it will adapt into my skin tone very very easily and the details of the products that I've used in this video will be there in description box with purchase links if you're interested and the foundation shades my foundation shades from the other brands are also mentioned in description box for your reference now talking about which side of application I like the most so the finish I like the most is this side with the help of beauty sponge because it's looking more smooth to me yeah and light but when we build it up the coverage right here with the help of brush so it really helped in covering the skin imperfection more as compared to the beauty sponge so I would like to use both as per the occasion I'm wearing this foundation in. Let me know which side of application of this foundation you liked the most in comment box and tell me which uh, tool you would love to use for your foundation application. Allowing my foundation to set for just a few minutes, till then I'll share my opinion, I'll share my experience, my review about this foundation with you and the coverage that I have on my face is something that I prefer and I love to wear. If you want to have more coverage then you can definitely build up the product as per your preference. Now what I feel about this foundation is that yes it's a matte foundation but it doesn't feel dry, heavy, cakey and stretchy on skin. It looks soft and blurred out like a smooth filter. It covers and conceals skin imperfection really nicely as it is having medium to more towards full coverage as for the quantity you apply. Though it's a matte foundation, it applies beautifully and blends effortlessly unlike some other matte foundations and blendability also depends that how well you prep and prime your skin before putting on the makeup. I wore this foundation for approx 10 hours several times and it was beautifully intact. Uh, it has a sebum controlling formula so I have combination skin type so I have oily t-zone area and we are in summers right now so there is a lot of sebum production right here and I noticed that there was no oil on my nose. Of course I was sweating a little bit but the foundation didn't move from its place it was lasting really well on skin and even after blotting it with tissue very tiniest amount the excess product came on the tissue which is not something noticeable because foundation didn't move from the skin even after sweating which is great it sits really well on skin and the biggest plus for me which I have noticed is that it doesn't broke me out oh my god I just love this thing about this matte foundation some matte foundations do give a lot of breakouts but this doesn't which is oh my god really great because I'm a person who loves to wear dewy foundations as well as the matte foundations I love both of the finishes equally this foundation is great for all skin type beauties but dry and extremely dry skin type beauties need to put a little more moisturization before applying this also this does oxidize a little bit I have noticed that because I wore this foundation for several times and yes it does oxidize so don't think that this is going to look like this only because after 
the full face of makeup you won't notice this different mask kind of thing okay so i personally think that this is a very nice budget friendly foundation for brides and for those makeup looks which you want to be long lasting for like whole day because this says that this is for 24 hours and i wore it for approx 10 hours and no complaints with the blendability with the finish with the creasing it was not coming off even after sweating it was not dripping on my skin no oil so yeah it's a perfect foundation a budget friendly foundation and guess what the price for this is 799 for 25 ml of quantity which i really adore why i love the price point of this foundation is because the features the effects of this particular foundation is very close to the high end matte foundations the formula the feel the texture the blendability everything is very much close to a high end foundation also this is oil free paraben free and fragrance free if you have tried this foundation then do let me know your thoughts in comment box i would love to know and now let's move on to the concealer so this is the sugar magic wand waterproof concealer in the shade 30 choco chino which is for medium skin tone with warm undertone since majority of us beauties have dark circles including me so for that we need to go for a darker shade concealer as per the skin tone around this area so we need to go for a shade or two darker than the skin tone of the rest of our face this is how the outer packaging looks like having all the details and ingredients mentioned on it and this is the concealer and i really like the feel the tube of this concealer it's so sleek and so nice i like this square kind of packaging and the details are mentioned on the seal itself so i just took it off and placed it here to know all the details when whenever i want to know so yeah i am in the shade 30 choco chino and i love the packaging now let me show you the wand of this concealer so it's pretty long sleek and straight having slightly slanted tip i think that is great for the better application and here is the close up it shuts really well with a click sound ensuring that it's closed and secure because product should not get dry now talking about the features of this concealer so this makeup must have blurs smooths and conceals the imperfections this will help to conceal the dark circles puffy eyes acne wrinkles fine lines and blemishes and it is having eight hour wear long lasting formula with full coverage now let me apply this concealer so firstly i will apply directly with the help of wand like we all do and we'll blend it in. If I need more product, I'll use. but I don't think so that I need more product now. And the shade is a perfect match for me. You can see the difference in both my eyes and this side, of course, it looks more fresh and even toned. Now for the other eye, I'm gonna use that technique that I did for foundation application. So I'm gonna take a little bit of amount on the back of my hand. I really enjoy using this technique for my base makeup ever since I tried. Cause it looks because it looks really nice natural looking and healthy so let's see how it works uh, with the help of sponge when i directly pat it into the product so yeah i really like to take my concealer in a slant way upwards like we apply a wing eyeliner 
so that this eye area should look more lifted and fresh. Some more product. Do try out this technique and let me know in comment box what are your thoughts about this. I personally like this one because it looks really nice and fresh and more smooth. So yeah, blending is done and you saw the application that it was really very easy to blend this concealer and I'll do rest of my face makeup and be right back. So yeah, now makeup is done and I use a little bit of translucent loose powder just to set around my eye area, nose a little bit right here on cheeks and around my mouth. And I did powdered rest of my face because I don't need it. Now I'm super impressed with the texture of this concealer. It's creamy and soft, blends beautifully and sets really well. Also the time it takes to dry down is so perfect that concealer got distributed and blended easily without putting much effort. It covers the dark circles really nicely and is lightweight, doesn't feel heavy around the eyes and is not cakey. Coverage of this concealer is too good, you don't need a lot of product which is great and under eye area looks smooth and soft and feels soft to touch as well. I wore this concealer along with the foundation for almost 10 hours and the experience is actually really nice. I saw that uh, it didn't crease much like after 6 or 7 hours or so, there was very minor creasing. So you can set that with a powder. And also this is great if you have fine lines and wrinkles but don't forget to set it with a loose powder or maybe compact powder if you prefer that. Also this concealer will be a great purchase for those beauties with oily eye area. I personally love this concealer and other two products as well. All the products that I have from Sugar are my favorite. I really enjoy using them and as I am super impressed with my purchase so I will definitely try other products from Sugar as well and this I will repurchase for sure. And this concealer is priced at 799 rupees for 8.4 ml of quantity. All of these products are dermatologically tested and approved. They are vegan, cruelty free and paraffin free, which is great. These three products work together beautifully to achieve that perfectly long lasting foundation based makeup. In my opinion, you can see that my makeup looks really nice, lightweight, fresh and soft. And rest of my makeup is also sitting beautifully on my skin. So if you like, you can get your hands on all three of them together and you're sorted. Otherwise, you can mix and match these products with your other favorite products and I will also do the same and uh, just to see how other product works with these. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then don't forget to like, share, comment your beautiful words, let me know your beautiful thoughts as well and subscribe for more such videos. I'll see you soon in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye.